Hello and welcome to Be Made in Revit Tutorials. In this Revit tutorial I would like to show you how to solve the problem of connecting the stairs to the concrete bath slab and to the top concrete slab. As you must have already experienced, we very often face this problem when modeling stairs, especially in cases where we have a middle landing. All of you who already have experience with Revit know for sure that the stairs can be connected to the concrete slab on top using the landing. However, the problem arises when we have a middle landing. Because when we change the thickness of the landing on the top, the thickness of the landing also changes in the middle of the stairs. Uh, the reason is that the stairs in Revit allows us to use only one type of landing. That, i that is why in this tutorial I will show you a very simple solution for this problem. To make it easier for you to follow this tutorial I made, I made all the concrete elements a red color. And now I will show you step by step how to model this kind of stairs. We will go on ground, floor plan. This is our ground floor plan and we will choose the stairs. The number of the riser will be 19 and the depth will be uh, 27 centimeters, the height of the stairs will be uh, 110 centimeters. First I will model, I will model the 10 riser, then uh, we will have landing and after that we will continue with uh, 9 riser more. The stairs grow fr uh, go from uh, the stairs goes from uh, first floor to the uh, from ground floor to the first floor. We will align them to the wall. And here we will have uh, the riser, this part of the stair will finish with riser. Okay, we can delete this railing from this uh, side. Here we have we have a plan region, I will delete it, okay. And the stair is ready. Here we have one riser below the above the first floor. Okay, now it's okay. I will copy this material, and here we will have the same material on the landing now everything will be right okay i will move the stairs to the and as you can see we have here one all right just to add this part here Okay, it will be 100 centimeter. Okay, and now I will move this part of the stairs. Okay, the landing is okay now. This is 100 centimeters, all right. 
and as you can see here we have a problem with this uh, part we want to join the uh, stairs to the slab to the concrete slab and also we have a problem here this is easy from here we can join the as you can see the thickness of the floor layers is 15 centimeters and we solve the problem on the best concrete slab what's left the top left just to tell you i model these uh, stairs just to show you what will happen when we change the thickness of the landing here now i'm us using landing i will join the stairs to the top concrete slab okay uh, I will here I write as small as possible because I don't want to uh, for this uh, landing to be visible in the uh, floor plan and in the sections now it looks like there is uh, one line only okay and now when i change the thickness for this part to be uh, jo uh, to, to, to join it properly okay it's 13 centimeters it's, it is more it's bigger than 13 centimeters 22 no it's 34 i think okay now we have perfect connection here with top a concrete slab but the problem is in the middle landing as you can see the thickness changed here uh, too changing the thickness of the landing on top of the stairs the changing follow the middle landing okay now this this was only to, to show you uh, what's happened uh, when we use uh, classic method for modeling stairs uh, and for classic method for solving this problem of of connecting the top of the stairs to the concrete slab now i will show you one simple way how you can solve this problem uh, with landings actually we are going to model a uh, new stairs and we will duplicate it rename it and also we will rename uh, duplicate and rename the landing okay now we will create a new type of stairs and also we will duplicate and rename this landing here okay and only in this way we we, we can uh, we can change the thickness of the landing on the top without without uh, the change the thickness of the landing in the middle just we need to i will use dimensions to see how much we uh, need to move stairs up from from base level okay it will be 110 centimeters and from base level it will be uh, 171.05 the depth will be uh, 27 centimeters and the number of riser will be uh, 9 okay now it's ready and here we will model the our new stairs
now we will add the landing here but before that just to see just to see how our stairs looks like uh, on section okay this is our new stairs uh, I need to make adjustments to this part here okay all right just to see this is 95 okay I will correct that later just to make some adjustments here uh, we need to join this to stairs types okay here is what's left here we we will uh, add the landing okay no. This is our landing. And now, as you know, we created new type of landing and when we change the thickness here, the middle landing will, uh, will, st uh, will stay the same. The changes we are going to make on this landing uh, won't happen to the uh, won't affect the landing on the middle you can see and here we have the perfect connection here uh, I will uh, d delete this railing here we need rally railing only on one side of the stairs okay All right, let's go to the section. Actually, uh, here we, you can see the one line here. I will, I will modify this part here. I uh, want landing to be uh, uh, very, very teeny, like like there is one line. I want to see the line, only one line on floor plan and on the section. Okay, as you can see, there is only one line and on the print, on the PDF file, it won't be visible. Okay, I will align it. Uh, more I make a small con uh, uh, correction here okay now it's good and now I will edit this this landing for five five centimeters okay let's see what's happened on section it's great all right uh, using the invisible line we can hide these lines here and now it looks like a continuous concrete uh, stairs we can do the same here that is that is one small trick uh, this part here we need to join to the floor layers it looks great now and the uh, uh, stairs model is ready we need to do some adjustments to the railing okay we will modify them All right. 
I will move it to the middle of the landing and the other one we will modify the other one the, the other one too okay and I will add one part to the middle of the landing okay now the railing is ready is uh, the railing is also ready uh, the model of the stairs is finished and what's left uh, there is one thing more now we need to do some adjustments on the floor plans okay uh, you can see from the this section box uh, we can hide these lines here too and the uh, stairs looks perfect this is uh, principle how it can be modeled and uh, it's same for for all the for all concrete stairs and now I will show you how to do modifications and visibility settings on floor plans. Okay. And now using annotations, we can add a tag for these stairs. Free and without leather okay we will move these tags as you can see here we have nine risers the first part of the stairs we have 10 from here we will add the numbers and here you can see we uh, have the start we need to change the start uh, number from the second part of the stairs it will be 11 and now it's it's looking good we will do the same on the uh, ground floor but here we don't see the the second part of the stairs because the cut uh, plan of the ground floor don't intersect with with the second part of the stairs uh, so we will here we will add the uh, plan region and we will move the uh, cut plan a little bit higher so it intersect with and now it's good okay well I will turn off this up text okay and now we will add the tags and numbers okay it's great i will move these tags a little bit and now we will add the numbers all right here too and the, our stairs is finished now Dear friends, this is all for this tutorial. I hope will, uh, this video will helpful to you and please don't forget to subscribe and share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much until the next tutorial.